Um, uh, keep going? Okay. We already went to our first sale, so this is kind of a pickup. Uh, I know sometimes you say, oh, we're going to this many sales today. We're going to this many sales today. Um, I got some PS2 games. They were like, they, okay, they had a bunch. So I tried to get them for whatnot, like cheap. Um, and I, they wanted like five and, f and buy four, get one free. So five for 20. So I was like, hey, if I take them all, what would you want? So they hit me with this like really crazy price. They say it's 265. We'll take 200. I'm like, oh, they said 250. So they went from $15. Sometimes Spanish people don't really negotiate very well. No, 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 no. It has nothing to do with... No. It has nothing to do no, with... No, the Spanish people I've encountered lately, they don't negotiate. Um, <laughs> it's true. Um, that has nothing to do with that. Yeah, I know. No, I'm not saying it has anything to do with it. I'm just saying the ones that I've negotiated with lately. It's just there's some people that remember what they paid for stuff. I suppose. All right. Good. All right. So... Here's the games I got. I paid five for twenty, and then I bought two for five a piece. Without warning, these are all ten and above. Some I can sell in the store. Um, none of these are going to go on eBay, I don't think. I got to recheck them. Terminator Three. I mostly took games I thought were uh, sellable or fun. Mercenaries. I might do them on uh, whatnot. As I, I can't really do them with on whatnot on the uh, on AJ's. So I got to do it with maybe mine if I do some. Uh, Ghostbusters, Test Drive, T these driving games are probably the most uh, expensive, you know, of all of them. Uh, Test Drive Unlimited, actually it's the same game twice, which is weird. Did this all look pretty good? You know, oh, Aeon Flux, too, uh, they're building everything, yeah, Jesus Christ. They're like just building like in all of nooks like, and crannies. They're taking down one house and putting up like, yeah. living for like 50 people. I know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And ballers, all ten dollars and up games. As I paid about four piece. After two, I paid five. All right. Now here's where we did good, though. This is where we actually make the money, because we bought something based on the knowledge that we have that they could, didn't know or couldn't figure out. They didn't think it was a big deal. You know, they see the stuff. You know, you could buy it brand new. Oh, fucking car stolen. Uh, I, I'm getting a new. I'm getting another car. I don't know if it's new, but. Um, Ooh, original playing deck cards. Why did I miss the light? I don't know. It changes real fast. I miss the light. Oh, the car died. Again, stupid car being a jerk. All right. Now, these chips have some wear to them, you know. And they need to be cleaned for sure. But for 10 bucks, you know, you could even start them off. Uh, what do you think these will sell for? Over 100 or oh, around 100 Somebody sold them for 165 with yeah. $15 shipping. Okay. And uh, are there any actives? Yeah, one guy has some for 175 and I don't remember what the other Okay, so are. say we put these up for 75 bucks, right? No, I put them up for like 125 Okay, well, all right. I'm still getting a deal. No, I, I just count because some of them are Yeah, so okay. The guy that sold them for 165 he had 42 of them. So 42, there that means... more than 42 So there. he's selling them like for $4 a chip. There's more than 42 yeah. there. Yeah, so he's basically selling them for $4 a chip. You know, here, here's a stack. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, 27, 28, 29. Yeah, look, in one stack, there's 29. Yeah, shit. and that's so that's the like biggest stack. So, but, so there's anywhere, if there's like 25, 29, 60, 80 something, uh, uh, over 100, 120. Yeah, there's at least 120 or more chips, for sure. Uh, but these are the better buy than this. Uh, but I bought these because we sell games. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to a few more sales. Maybe, maybe I'll get I'll get lucky. All right. See that? It's just that. It's no big deal. You could just like kind of wash it and it'll come out. I'm sure. Uh, Fao Schwartz. This is five bucks. Marie's willing to list it. It's a wall. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, I'll show you. There it is. Fao. And. It hangs on the wall, kind of like in a kid's room, I guess, as, like, little kid hunter. Lion head. Um, this is kind of cool. She only charged me a buck for this. No, I think I need to clean it. It feels sticky. <laughs> there might be a repro. Uh, you know what? It was only a dollar. I'll just use it. But it's it's got a... It says, that's Italia, and it's got, like, a pinup girl with a parrot on her. The lady had a parrot. That's Italia. Copyright WW... Well, it can't be old. 
because it's it's www whatever for a dollar let's see like I said I will use this or somebody will want it you know for like five bucks or something um, you got these shirts what's are you gonna wear these or you they're Land's End and they were two bucks oh so they're actual shirts yeah, for me. nice I guess they're kind of uh, cotton so they'll be nice in the winter well you can layer them right, yeah that's smart um, got some records here, a buck a piece. Nothing really very special. Best of love and spoonful. This is probably the most valuable, but it's not even easy to sell or worth that much. Maybe 20 bucks. I don't know. A very Dion. Look at that outfit. That dress. And then look at this with the ruffles. City girl. Country girl. Um, Pat Benatar. I've always wondered what she was looking at. <laughs> What do you think? Something down down there. And of course the Hollies. Only a buck a piece. These will go in my five dollar or four dollar record box. And that's and that's it so far. Alright, this is where we this is where we complain about speed bumps again, alright? So here, at least they have a sign, speed bump ahead. Uh, it would be nice if they painted it yellow, but they didn't. But look, so they they have something that looks like a pancake, I'm gonna say, right? Which, like, if you didn't, you saw a sign that had, like, a pancake on it, and let's say, you know, you, you didn't read English, you couldn't understand, but it's with the word speed hump or bump. Did they call it speed hump or bump? Bump. Oh. Well, that's not a bump. That's a hump, for sure. Uh, that, if that, like, a bump, you know, uh, it's, like, but like see here, small, but a hump, better. that's if because it's on your back. Like, now, yeah. Shows your car flying. Oh. And that's what if would you happen. Slow down, go and, over that's them. what would happen. If you if you flew over it, your car would fly and land hard. Or that I said that they should make a sign. See, another one's coming up. They should make a sign where it's it shows you speeding. Tree. Right. This one's totally hidden by well, the tree. At least these have like the at white lines they that lead They're up. They're not surprising to it. you. Surprise! A, a Surprise! Speed of, hump! Surprise! Of, can you stop? Go ahead. A lot of these uh, speed bumps it's don't have these white lines. Can't can't take warn you, it's coming. Exactly. They not, have nothing. It's like all of a sudden, it just appears. But I was saying, right? It's like instead of like that where they have the speed pancake sign or even flying over, they should have the sign where, where you're like speeding and these things rip out the bottom of your car and then you drip oil all over the place and your engine dies. Because that happened to someone I know, AJ. <laughs> he went over a speed bump hard, he cracked his oil pan and he dripped oil until his engine died. You know, so I don't think I actually don't think speed humps that big are cool. Well, because you know they are they are literally Do you car know destroyers. What they're for? To slow people down. Yeah, because the morons drive through these neighborhoods. But you can put a like, speed bump. Like you don't have to have like, you know, something yeah, that will destroy a car. Too fast. So their punishment is you destroy their car. Yeah. Oh, one all right. person makes it terrible for everybody else. So your That's punishment is, is I, you're, you don't know how to drive right. It's I'm going to destroy your car. <laughs> I'm going to take it away from you, like your pet, like I'm your parent or something. So I don't know. They just, I, I'm cool with speed bumps because yeah, you hit them and you feel it. And you're like, okay. What about rumble strips? Right? Whatever happened to rumble strips? Yeah, but that doesn't slow anybody down. Yes, it does. Because all of a sudden you go rumble strip and then you say, oh, a rumble strip. Why does it have to be something that could ruin your car? Something that just shakes you up and go, oh shit, I better slow down. You know? If everybody knows you hit a rumble strip, oh, you're either in the wrong lane or you're driving off the road or you better slow down. So there you go. I just, I like the speed hump issue. See, I tell you, if I was in charge, I just oh figure God. shit out. The world would be on fire. No, the world would be at peace, finally. Yeah, right. Everybody would. You know that Coke everybody commercial where everybody sing sings to each other? Saying, no. How did this dumbass get in no, it would be like that Coke commercial. Everybody's like, they'd be passing around Coca Cola's going, I'd like to teach the world to sing <laughs> the perfect termini. No, I, so. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. But all right, uh, we're going to some more sales. That was our speed hump. You get on TV right. and do a speech and it'll take you two hours. What are you talking about? I do get distracted. You I'm speak. like, I'm like I'm like a cat and I see something glitter with that. or a squirrel, you know, like what 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 what, what looking all over the place like what the hell? All right. Anyway, uh, we're in our hood. We're still hitting some sales. Maybe we'll find some stuff so far. It's okay stuff, you know. Nothing to write home about. Anything to write Did home this about? This person in the green car fall asleep? I don't know. He's he's just we're the yielders. He's he just let everybody like he yielded. 
I think he wanted a parking spot. Oh, uh, okay. Um, sorry, Charlie. All right. Uh, anyway, uh, there are more sales to go to. Sure, Hopefully something good to buy. Okay, we just spent $4. Uh, this is probably the best thing. I can't make out the marks, but it's definitely like a, a, a silver mark. And it's enamel. That it could it's be probably eight hundred silver. Probably eight hundred. It could it's, be German it's or probably Germany. I mean, I'm trying to focus on it. Okay, we'll read it later. Um, I might put it in my description what it is, like when we figure out the mark. Uh, then for the, but this is all a quarter each. We only spent four dollars and everything. And we got these these fun like what do you call it? like Fimo type pins? Well, that's just one. That's one. Fimo. I don't know if that's Fimo or not, but it's signed on the back. Oh, it is. And oh. then I got a, these three ceramic pins that are, are all handmade. Yeah, okay. it's signed. So it's fun, but they're bug pins. So you have a theme, right? Yeah. Well, one was a Halloween. Thing. Yeah. And the Halloween pins are just nicely made. Yeah, they are nice. Okay. So for a quarter piece, this is fun stuff. Uh, these are Halloween and these are enamel stick pins. They're, they're going to be worth a little bit. You probably get what, 15, 20 for this ring? Oh, I don't Here's know. Here's another Maybe bug pin that. and this one's a heart. Well, you'd be surprised sometimes. Oh, and oops. They're signed by, looks like Orla, but I don't know. All right, and then, um, let me see what to do with this. Okay, um, underneath this, these pins, which I should have, I should put them someplace safe. For a sec. Is this nice Christmas plate? Um, good condition, made by Sir Christopher Radko. Um, this has got to be worth. I don't know. It might 15, be worth 20 nothing. Bucks at least. But I, yeah, I at least. And then Marie like this. It it's a little Idlebox. German trinkle bite box. Trinket. Trinket. Trinkle. Did I say trinkle? It sounded like it. Isn't that weird? Trinkle. Weird. There's no such thing as a trinkle box. I just made a word up. Trinkle. It's trinkle, trinkle, little time. star. Enter trinkle. I have no clue where trinkle came from. But it plays Idlebite. It does play uh, Idlebite. One of the most depressing German songs in the world. What is uh, that's it. Go to sleep, right? So. Shut up. Go to sleep, kids. That, they did that in that song, right? Sound amazing. And the kids are like... <sighs> knocking out, whatever. But not bad. Four bucks, right? This has got to be 15 or more. Probably have at least 40 to $50 in jewelry in, your, in my hand, right? Yeah. And then a box, I don't know, 5 to 20 as far. I have no clue. All right, but okay. Oh, uh, this is heavy, so I'm just going to show it. Uh, this has got to be like a McCoy or something like that. I didn't see nothing on the bottom, but it's very heavy, very Art Deco umbrella stand, and it's really in good condition. I didn't see any chips or something. Um, I have to decide what I'm going to do with this. I don't think I can sell this <clears throat> anywhere else. I, I don't think this is for eBay. It's just too big. You know, and, and ridiculously heavy, so I would destroy it. Here's the design. It's kind of like a leaf pattern. Rising up. Kind of very art deco here. Let me see if I can brighter. You know, I'm, I've got it in the shade here. That's better. All right, I got to go. Uh, what did we spend all together? I spent 10 and 16, something like that. You got some of this uh, cinnamon, Czechoslovakia. I got a cinnamon or and a nutmeg. But there's you got no the chips or anything. No, and they have the lids and they're really good. The clown is actually not there's working. There's a lid. And then you got a clown. And then you got some stuff to torture the cat. Yeah. Uh, this one's going to be the nutmeg. And you saw the, the big uh, umbrella scent I got. Probably McCoy, that's what I'm thinking. Like an early McCoy one. Let's see, let's see this. And uh, let's see what you got. To, 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 like here, uh, Marie's gonna put this on the cat's head. The cat's gonna be pissed. Uh, this is probably the funnest thing, though. Where is it? Because the cat will literally get up in your face and like try and eat the food as you're putting it into your mouth. So uh, Marie got the shirt that he's gonna wear probably once. 
for a minute. I licked it, so it's mine. There you go. And she got something else, but whatever. All right, um, spent a dollar and a half. Is that in focus? Oh my god. So my glasses are, okay, there it is. Dollar. Uh, I see it has a little sweat stuff. I might just wash it and wear it. That's maybe worth 25 new. We're going to ban the linen now. Okay, uh, I bought two of these big binders. They're better for Pokemon cards than the ones with the round things. They're for like sports cards, stuff like that. I could use them at the store. Uh, bought two of them. And then I bought a box of empty game cases. And I, I was like, you would think well, this was gonna be pretty good, right? But nope, they're, all of them are empty. But it was only 12 bucks and I might just sell them. I'll pull the ones out that I can use. Like Donkey Kong, I'll save that. Uh, and then maybe some of the other ones, the more valuable games. And then, and then more of the PS2s, anything else. I'll save some of these, and then I'll just, I'll just uh, sell the rest of them. Like Extreme Menace, Jack Three. Yeah. One more step. All right, I'm gonna do this backwards because I shot this in the wrong format. Um, we got uh, spent eight dollars. We got some fake candles to put in tea lights. Uh, you just gotta add batteries. Um, she got a glue gun. I got this for resale. I paid three bucks uh, It's probably worth 20 and it's a vampire then I got some records. I got this uh, cool in the gang They're kind of disco-y jazzy uh, And then I got cameo They were kind of like Rappish I think like you make me work. I, I like this thing. maybe club type music tiny promiscuous it's pretty girls, honey. I'm sure if I play these, I'll know these songs. I think they that their song was World Up. Word and Word Up, right? That was their song? Cameo? Oh, could be wrong. Then I got this Spike Lee. Actually it's from uh, School Days, his movie. Had Spike Lee in the cover for a dollar. I figured eh, hey, why not? And uh, it's a record title. The butt, I believe. The butt. And that's it. Okay, last sale of the day. For $5, I got a, a Black Widow Whittles and a Spider Woman Whittles. I'll show them to AJ, but these aren't worth much. They're worth like 15 Oh, I, I, they're worth 15 So I paid two for five. I'll just sell them like five each, or I'll say 10 two for 15 something like that. I don't care about them. Um, but it is Black Widow and Spider, and maybe somebody likes them, you know, I don't know. Um, this iPad was only five. <clears throat> the lady says she thinks it works, she doesn't think it, it's locked. <sighs> but for five bucks... She thinks it works. No, no, she, she says... She think it's locked. She you said, that uh, means? she said, well, I mean, you know, she looked trustworthy, but basically, yeah, right. um, what I meant was she didn't think it's locked, but she said it works. Yeah, it just she lost the charging power. So you know, and it's not really worth like someone like nowadays wanting to invest a lot of money in a whatever. I could probably find one at a sale. Yeah, I probably have one in the store. It's an old one. So if I find a charging thing for an uh, Apple, I have some at home for I a couple a, bucks. Don't we have an Apple phone in the house? Would the charger be the same? Uh, it's the wide charger, the old wide charger. So yeah, it should be. Um, so anyway, it's a 16 gig. If it works and, and whatever, it's worth 50 bucks. I don't know, maybe I can do something with it or I'll just give it away. It's like five bucks, what do I care, you know? Um, so that's... Okay, sounds cool. And then Marie got one of these these coffee things. You're probably gonna ditch the box, right? Uh, it's all like spotted yeah, and yeah. Yeah, just put it in. It's like it's set for five bucks. Those stupid things sell for like thirty dollars. Yeah, they're expensive now. Uh, and I break them. Like what do you call it? French, French, uh, French press. Does it come with cups or no? Yeah, it has two cups. In there. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. All right, that's it. All right. Um, box of figures came in the store. It was a pretty good price. Hey, is this a talking Hulk? Let's see. Hulk smash. No, his arms go. Okay. Uh, Iron Man, this. Oh, this is uh, build a figure parts, right? Yeah. Okay, that's those are always good, right? This. 
So it's just a box of random stuff. So, man, these, the figures are actually in pretty good condition. More build a figure. What are we doing with this stuff? Why not? More hulks. Or do you want me to take it to... Well, I know you had to look at it first. Oh, I, this, I don't remember. That wasn't Galactus. That was somebody else. Oh, no, that was, um, what do you call it? Green Lantern, dude. Oh, wow, this is from the new movie with the voice of Sylvester Stallone. Okay, not bad.